Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video reflecting on the last two years being on YouTube. I started this channel in the beginning of 2020 and made my first video at the end of February. I only had one more video made before COVID restrictions began. I got a job and took advantage of every opportunity to work. Because of this, I didn't have much free time, but I honestly didn't feel very motivated or excited to continue with YouTube. I made three videos in April, four in May, one in June, and then I took a break. I moved from Illinois to Florida in August, and it was a very difficult transition. I had the best job experience I ever had and made good friends. Unfortunately, that same experience didn't occur when I transferred. I had to wait about a month to start working, so I read 10 books, although hardly any of them were worthwhile. I finally edited a video in September, and that was my last published video of 2020. I read 58 books, which is the most I'd read in a single year at the time. The best books were Love Me Never, which I rated 5 stars, The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy, First book was 2 stars, Second was 3 stars, and the last book was 1 star. Imagine Me, which I rated 3 stars, and Gravity Falls Journal 3, which I rated 3 stars. The worst books were Six of Crows, The Love Interest, The Betrothed, and If He Had Been With Me. I did try audiobooks with The Prince, which is part of the selection series, Six of Crows, and The Iron King, but it didn't seem like my kind of thing. On to 2021. I started listening to audiobooks and read nine books each in January and February, which is more than usual. My average monthly rate has been five. In February, I started reading sprints with friends. Upon recommendation, I downloaded Libby and Hoopla, which helped me read more books too. My first video of the year didn't come out until I left my horrible job in March. I made another video the same month and did not update until May. Between those two videos, I got a new job. This was better than the job I'd had previously, but I wouldn't have taken the job if I could do it over again. I did like some of the managers and gained friends when I had the time to talk, but most of the job was a drag. Then I got a promotion, which sounds like good news. Uh, yeah, no. This job was so bad, it was not only comparable to my old job, it was legitimately abusive. I got to take a week's break in June when I went on vacation to Illinois. I determined I was not going to stay at this job when I came back. During the trip, we put an offer on a house and boom, we were moving again. That was another contributor to my rush to leave. I applied to many places and kept things going. Then my boss offered another promotion. I wasn't going to take it since I intended to leave, but my parents suggested I do it so I'll have a license when I leave. When the training was almost over, I told my boss I couldn't stay here anymore and I was able to leave without another two weeks notice. I interviewed at a few places, but unfortunately nothing came through. Then we moved to our new place. It was a much easier transition than the last house. I uploaded my Shadow and Bone reaction videos during August. They're not available on my channel anymore since Netflix copyright claimed it, but I'm hoping I can get it back up. I worked on a 2000 piece puzzle from August through October. This was a fun and frustrating experience. A 2000 piece puzzle is hard, but I listened to audiobooks while I worked on it. Go multitasking. I did another reading sprint with friends and didn't upload again until October with my Bambi short. My last video of the year was my fifth wave discussion with Robin. I read 66 books, which was better than last year. I also found more quality books. Although, to be fair, my average rating was 1.3 in 2020 and this year was 1.7, but hey, progress. The best books were So We Meet Again, Throne of Glass, you Deserve Each Other, Frat Girl, and The Fifth Wave. The worst books were 99 Days, The Evil Queen, and All the Bright Places. I made 13 videos in 2020 and 16 videos in 2021. Six were uploaded and 10 were live shows. Now, considering how I read books before and after YouTube, I'm pretty disappointed. I've prioritized quantity over quality. 
I used to enjoy books, but I haven't had a good time in a while. So this year, 2022, I'm planning to only read when I want to. If I pick up a book and it's not good, I'll DNF. So far, now that it's March, I've followed this quite well. I started You've Reached Sam, the romance book club, Ever Cursed, not here to be liked. It ends with us, To Kill a Kingdom, and People We Need on Vacation. Since I wasn't connecting with any of them, I stopped reading right away. I'm really glad I've started doing this. I just know I would have forced myself through each story in 2020 or 2021. The only book I've read this year is Believe Me. I didn't enjoy it, and I did push myself through it, but it was a small novella, only 177 pages. I also challenged myself to one book this year instead of 100 like I did the previous two years. Besides the perceived pressure on booktube, I also have felt pressure from my own goal to read that many books. Obviously, that is just too much for me. I'm not going to measure my reading on how many books I read. I also won't rate books anymore. Sometimes, while there's a lot of flaws in a story, I still enjoy it or like the ending. But given how I rate, I've given these books one star. Now I'll read the book without analyzing and evaluating how I feel about it. The most I'll do is give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Something I challenged myself to do in 2021 was to review every book I read on Goodreads. I did meet this goal, but I won't be following that trajectory in 2022. I'll only make a written or video review if I feel like it or if I believe I have a lot to say about it. I guess what it comes down to is just vibes this year. No obligations, especially not for something that's supposed to be fun. I have 31 unread books and while I'd like to finish them, I'm not going to force myself and make a pointless deadline. It's just setting myself up for failure. Now with my reading goals out of the way, I'd like to talk about my channel in general. I want to expand with movie and TV show reviews. While I've taken a pause on reading this year, I continue to watch shows like A Maniac, so that may become the majority of my videos. I'd like to add reaction videos like I did with Shadow and Bone, as long as I'm able to keep them uploaded. I'd like to create a consistent schedule, like a video a week maybe. I think that about sums it up. Thank you so much for watching!